Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I am going to go through the setup process on this wireless mouse by this company here. I'll also give my review of this mouse. And the model number on this one is G12. And yeah, I'm not sure how to pronounce the company name, but that's it right there. And then on the side of the box, here is some of the information. It does say uh, that this has a silent click and an auto sleep and we'll check out some of the other stuff. So let me take this out of the box and um, get everything organized and we'll go from there. And then also here are the specifications. Okay, so here's what was inside of the packaging. We have the mouse here and it's pretty slim. Um, and this is where it will light up along the side here all the way around the mouse. And then we have the USB receiver right here. It's got a sticker over it that we'll eventually need to take off. And then we have the on off button here. And then at the front here, this is where you plug this in uh, to the mouse to charge the mouse. This is a rechargeable mouse. And here is the USB cable to charge the mouse. And then we have a USB to USB type C adapter. And then we have the user manual. Make sure that you read through the user manual before you do use the mouse. Okay, so before we go through the setup process and test the mouse out, it does say in the user manual, please charge the mouse for about two hours before using it for the first time. So I'm going to do that now and then I'll be back and we'll go from there. And just make sure that the mouse is in the off position before you charge it. Okay, so I have the mouse plugged into my laptop and this blue light is on letting us know that it's charging. And the blue light is supposed to turn off when the mouse is fully charged. Okay, so the mouse is fully charged. So I'm about to set this up on my laptop, but let's take a look at it here first. So here is the left and right button and I'm gonna let you guys listen to this shortly just so you can hear how loud it is. Um, you know, it does say that this is uh, a silent click on these. So we'll listen to how those sound. And then we have the scroll wheel here and you can press down on that and that's a button as well. And then also a button there. Okay, so I'll let you listen to the left and right buttons first, just because these are supposed to be the silent click ones. So let's listen to those now. And then here's what the scroll wheel button sounds like. And this button here. Okay, so I've taken the tape off that was over the wireless USB receiver, and I'm going to take that out now. And then next we're going to plug this into the laptop. Okay, so now I'm going to plug in the wireless USB receiver to my laptop. And when you do plug this in, just make sure that you plug it in all the way. Okay, so I did get a notification on my laptop that it was setting up the mouse. And so the next thing that we're going to do is to turn the mouse on. Just make sure that you're not pointing this laser light at any living thing. All right, guys, and then before I turn the mouse on, I did put a mouse pad down here just so I don't get any reflection from the table that might cause issues with the mouse. And then I'm going to turn the mouse on here and let's test it out and see how well it works. First, let's just test out the mouse and make sure that it's working and we can see that it is. Okay, so these LED lights around the mouse are really cool and we'll check those out more shortly. But when you turn on the mouse, make sure that it's close to the wireless USB receiver. Okay, so here's a closer look at the LED lights around the mouse and these are really cool and they just kind of gradually change. And when you're all done using the mouse, just make sure to turn it off to save battery power. You can also store the wireless USB receiver in the mouse like this. All right, guys, so here's my opinion on this mouse. I like the LED lights. I think that they're really cool. I like the left and the right buttons, how they're quiet. That didn't bother me. And then I also like how when I plugged in the wireless USB receiver and turned on the mouse, it just started working. All right, guys, well, that was it for this video, and I hope it was helpful, and thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And if you have the time, check out these other great videos.